Before I get into the thrust of my remarks, I wanted to take a brief moment to tell you what I expect most of you already know, and that is that today, on two campuses in our country, one at Texas Southern University, a student was shot and killed, and one other was wounded, and as you know, in your own state, at Northern Arizona State University in Flagstaff, one uh, student was killed and three were wounded. Now, it goes without saying, it goes without saying that our condolences go to the families of those who were killed and our hearts and prayers go out for a full recovery for those that were wounded. But we also know that we are tired of condolences and we are tired of just prayers. We are tired and we are embarrassed in picking up the paper or turning on the TV and seeing children in elementary schools slaughtered and young people on college campuses shot. And the truth of the matter is, I wish I could tell you otherwise, the issue of gun violence is not going to be solved easily. But just because it is not going to be solved easily does not mean that we do not address it and do the best we can. Now, I come from a state, the state of Vermont. Thank you. And I invite you all up, especially in the summer. I will come here in the winter. How's that? I come from a state which has a history going back to its very creation of people owning guns and hunting and doing target practice. But the truth, and having virtually no gun control at all today, but what the people of Vermont understand is that we need to have a serious conversation and stop the yelling and demeaning of all people involved in this issue. Overwhelmingly, the American people understand that it is crazy that people who should not own guns do own guns. They understand overwhelmingly that not only we do we need to strengthen the instant background check, we need to broaden it as well. And they understand that it makes no sense that we have a loophole in the law so that people can go to gun shows and buy weapons without having to go through the instant background check. People understand that's wrong and that has got to change. And there are many people in this country who do not understand why we are selling and distributing, allowing to be distributed, assault weapons which have only one function, and that is the killing of people. And people do not understand why we do not have legislation to prevent people from buying guns legally, but then selling it to criminals, the so-called straw man situation. And also what people don't understand is that in my state and all over this country, there are people who are experiencing severe emotional problems. All over this country, we have thousands of people who are suicidal, who are homicidal, but they cannot get 
the help they need when they need it. We need a revolution in mental health delivery in this country. Somehow, somehow, if you are involved in an automobile accident and you're hurt, you get rushed to an emergency room and you get good care. People save your lives. But if you are suffering a mental breakdown and you are suicidal, or you're a homicidal, you may not be able to find the care you need because there aren't doctors or counselors available or you cannot afford that care. That's wrong. So I think while, yes, there are disagreements of how we go forward in terms of gun safety, I think the vast majority of the American people want us to move forward in sensible ways which keeps guns out of the hands of people who should not have that and cuts down on these senseless murders that we see every week.